going on YouTube, Chia's right here, so in today's video we have some important news about Cydia and a Cydia update that could definitely break your device. So we're talking about this in here. Now Coolstar updated Cydia apparently to split it into Cydia GUI which is pretty much the interface of Cydia and Cydia itself with the binaries and so on. But this has not been successful in the beginning and despite the fact that he announced that you should not try the update, a lot of people did and of course they uh, pretty much got out of luck and got no Cydia on their screen and Cydia got broken. Now of course this has been fixed and the fix is now available created by Coolstar but let's see how this happened. He posted this just a few hours ago quote today a massive Cydia repackage which splits into Cydia and Cydia GUI was deployed despite it taking several tries several hours and a separate tool for successful deployment just so users could run Cydia alongside Cilio when it launches and he continues with Furthermore, all the binaries and updates in question are easily verifiable. Electra is open source and Cydia binaries haven't been modified since the 11.1.2 jailbreak. If you have doubts, you're free to check. Also, I'd want Cilio to be highly announced release anyways. So what he says in here, well, he did this update, you know, splitting Cydia into the binaries and the Cydia GUI so that you can run both Cydia and Cilio on the same jailbreak. So the rumors that Cilio will take over and completely obliterate Cilio from your device are false. As you can see, Coolstar is doing his best to pretty much allow both of these to run on the same jailbreak. But in the old formula, it wouldn't work because Cydia itself is pretty much a mess without a lot of patching. So he decided to split it into the Cydia and Cydia GUI just to do that. Now, there have been problems initially and as you can see here, a fix has been released. Coolstar said, quote, updates to Cydia have been fixed. Cydia is unable to update directly, so an update helper is used. Cydia made black screen when installing, simply press the home button, find the update helper app and open to complete the update. Once complete, you may remove the update helper. So if you do have problems and if you did install the update that appeared on your screen in the beginning, then you can use this in here. Quote, for those who have installed the broken Cydia package and don't have an icon, install the update helper by downloading this step and using SSH or Falza to install it and it gives you a GitHub link. Then find the app on your home screen and use it to complete the update. So if you did install the broken update that was released like 9 hours ago or so and your CDA is no longer working or the icon has disappeared, you can download this step in here from GitHub, install it via SSH or using Falza and you will be able to get CDA back and the update will succeed. So for those of you who do not know what this update was about. As I said, it was just so that Cilio and Cydia can work alongside, so that you do not have to remove Cydia if you don't want while you're trying Cilio. But of course the update was problematic in the beginning and of course it created a situation where Cydia no longer worked. So that is the fix. If you have that problem, go ahead and download that and install it and you can get Cydia back. If you want me to make a video on how to do that, do not forget to tell me in the comment section down below. But anyways, it's good to see that Coolstar gives you the option to choose between Cydia or Cilio on the same jailbreak. Because of course initially the idea was that you would use Cilio and uninstall Cydia but now apparently using this update is no longer the case. Thank you for watching guys, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. If you nuked your Cydia using that update in the beginning, do not forget to apply the fix. If you want a video on the fix on how to use it, tell me in the comment section down below. I'm Geosnow, peace out.